He went from rags to riches, from this one-room house in Deloraine, Manitoba, to this multi-million dollar expansion of the Nygaard International Building in Winnipeg. Today, Peter Nygaard celebrates 50 years in business. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe that I actually came out of that some 50, 60 years ago, and I have all this. What a wonderful country <laughs> this is. He's a Winnipeg fashion icon, famous for his international clothing brand and the billboards bearing his face across town. Today, Peter Nygaard cut the ribbon on a new $5 million expansion to his Winnipeg facility. The factory was founded in the 1970s and has been given a facelift, which includes a new gym and cafeteria for employees, a museum of his life, and the very home Nygaard and his siblings grew up in when they first arrived in Canada from Finland. Nygaard says he owes his success to being able to follow the ever-changing fashion industry. You know, you really have to reinvent yourself continually. This is a very, very tough industry, a very dynamic industry. You know, we reinvented ourselves over and over again. And now we are inventing ourselves again. We are re-establishing ourselves in Winnipeg. We're consolidating our base from everywhere in the world. And this is the center of our attention. we got some really quality people working in Winnipeg. And when we find out we think it's better in Toronto, it's better in, in New York or something, it isn't. It's here, loyal, good, hardworking people who appreciate their jobs. Renee Law is in her 80s and has worked for Peter Nygaard for 40 years. She says he isn't like other employers. His factory was among the first to ban smoking indoors and do away with sweatshop-like conditions. She says it's consistent with the new amenities Nygaard opened today. He does a lot for them. Believe me, you know, you just don't hear. I just I keep on working. I'm still here, and I love working for the guy. Yeah, and that's Peter Nygaard. In Winnipeg, Shao Lee, City News.